Kickstart is a rehabilitation system for infants affected by cerebral palsy. Usually, these infants do not move their leg muscles in the correct pattern. However, to help this, Kickstart provides them with positive reinforcement whenever they move their muscles in the correct pattern. When they do so, music plays from the computer and a toy also activates to let them know they're on the right track. The target users for the system are the parents and physicians related to these infants who have this condition. To use this system, connect the EMG sensors to the target muscles. These sensors will send a signal to the computer through the sensor deck. For this demonstration, we will be using the arms instead of leg muscles. For the actual system, you should connect the EMG sensors to the tibialis anterior, which is the front of your calf, and the quadriceps, which is the front of your thigh. The sensor from the tibialis anterior should be connected to channel 1, and the sensor from the quadriceps should be connected to channel 2. On the computer running the program, go to the Bluetooth settings and make sure the toy you intend to use is paired. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is choose where I want my patient information to be saved. Next thing, select participant. So if I were a new participant, I would click this button, but since Oscar's already in their system, we choose him from the list of patients, and we click next. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is set the threshold. Um, you can run the threshold test. Um, we could also use the previous threshold values, and if need be, um, you could manually set the threshold. To run the threshold test, simply click on the button and enter how long you want the test to run. A new window will pop up when this test is running. This determines the threshold from both EMG sensors using signal processing methods to filter out noise caused by random movement. Now you can select the runtime, how long the session should last. For this example, we're going to set it for one minute. Next thing you do is select the music that you want to play during the session. Make sure it's a .wav file or else you won't be able to play music. And finally, you select the COM port that the device is connected to. To check the COM port, go to Control Panel and click on Devices and Printers. Scroll down to find your device, then right-click and select Properties. Navigate through the tabs to see which COM port your toy is connected to. then you can begin your session. Okay, so now the session is running, and if Oscar clenches the tibialis anterior, it's gonna turn on this green light, and if he clenches the quadriceps, it's gonna clench this one about down here. If he clenches both, this is what's gonna activate the toy, so go clip both, then these two are turn on. Okay, when both muscles are activated simultaneously, the toy will play and the music will play as well. If something were to go wrong during the session, you can include it in notes. Um, there's a box here that you can type whatever is wrong. So, for example, if Oscar fell asleep, all the notes that you make will be included in your patient data file. Okay, you can view the progress of um, consecutive sessions in this option here. Now that you're done with the session, you can end the program. The data from the session will be available in the folder where you designated the save path. There will be a .txt file that contains information such as the date time of the session, the threshold values, how long the session was, as well as the percentage of the time that the muscles were activated in the correct pattern. It also shows whether or not a threshold test was run and whether the button was pressed to end the session prematurely. At the end are any notes from the session. There will also be a folder containing images of the graphs from the session. These graphs show the raw data of the EMG sensors as well as an activation graph that allows the user to clearly see when during the session the toy and the music were activated. Additionally, this kickstart system can be used with multiple toys depending on which toy you connect to the Bluetooth COM port. So, what we are most proud of is that we make a new toy work with Bluetooth communication. This was especially hard because uh, we have we never wor worked with Bluetooth before, and there was a lot of like details in the coding and the type of Arduino boards that we work in that we didn't know, and we have to learn from the data sheets. Another thing we're most proud of is being able to play the toy and the music at the same time. Um, one of the hardest things about playing the music is 
not having the song start at the beginning every time. So we hope that our program can be used as an effective education system. Let's kickstart. Thanks for watching.